Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 3rd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcanic Activity Report. Starting out here, week 18, looking at massive eruptions at the Geldingadlar volcano in Iceland. Look at that. Stunning images. Largest lava fountains I've ever witnessed coming out of Iceland. And now there are new fissures steaming and ready to open up. Will this ever stop? I don't think it will. I really don't think it will. But look at that. Stunning. Amazing creation of our planet right before our eyes. Unbelievable how it's still going. This is real time, folks. Those lava fountains are reaching probably 120 meters. Amazing planet. And amazing and grateful to have you all here to experience these events together. Here's a quick time lapse of what just happened in Iceland. So yeah, in February, we reported 52 volcanoes active and erupting around the planet, and that was the most I had ever reported in my four years here, and the most I had ever seen within all my research. Another quick display here. I mean, could you imagine living in Iceland and being able to drive and hike? to an amazing site like this. These people are truly lucky and blessed. And we are all truly and lucky and blessed to be here yet another surviving day on the planet. Much love to y'all. And still, this active erupting situation in Iceland is getting a bit worrisome in some areas. Looking here at some stunning imagery. Fuego as well. Beautiful eruption. Looks like a either a sunrise or a sun actually it would be a sunset that's looking west into the Pacific Ocean. So yes, we are looking at 40 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Just marking out the stress areas for week 18. As continual eruptions in these regions, as well Iceland. Stress through the New Madrid into the Caribbean plate and continual stress from the Philippines up into Kamchatka. And new stress down here in Africa, Pintan de la Fournaise. So let's have a look here at all of the active and erupting. We're going to start out here in Iceland, where of course we have Fagradas Folly, otherwise known as Galdingadalar. Unbelievable fountains of lava. And then into Italy here, of course, we have the Etna volcano and Stromboli. Egypt here with the Urta Ale. Nira Mirigira and as well Nira Gongo. And then off the coast of Madagascar here, Reunion Island, Pint. Pinton de la Fornes, active and erupting. 
Lots of earthquakes through this region yesterday. Cinnabon volcano, Carinchi, Carinchi volcano, Marapi, Simaru, and Rung. As well, Luatolo. Up into the Philippines here, Ibu, in, uh, sorry, into Indonesia, Ibu and Dokono. And now to Philippines with Tal Volcano. Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Sakurajima in Japan, as well, Era. Ebuko Volcano, Kermiski, and as well, Shivalich. And now, Red Alert active, same as Napochnoi. And of course, active Kilauea. Still releasing quite a bit of SO2 emissions. Looking here through Papua New Guinea, Cadavor, Bagana. Bagana is very sulfuric as well. There's the Yasser. And the mighty Erebus. Down here into Mexico with the Popo. Guatemala here with Santa, Santiaguito. Fuego. And Messiah. Or sorry, Pacaya. Pacaya Volcano. Down here, Ecuador with the Messiah Volcano. Into the Caribbean, of course, Sufri St. Vincent. South America here, Colombia, Nevadas de Ruiz, Reventador, and Sangue. And as well, Sabancaya. Down into Chile here, pretty active region recently, Nevadas de Chilean, and as well, Villarica. So that is. All of the active and erupting volcanoes, there are 40. 41 if you include the era, which is never on here. Also, wanted to show you the volcanoes showing signs of unrest. And those are all the yellow icons. Let's have a look here. Windy.com for the sulfur emissions forecast for the next three days. And you can see a lot of the sulfur has cleared out from equatorial regions from the Caribbean and is now east of Africa and as well quite a bit of sulfur developing South America, South Africa. Looking at across the world right now, lots of emissions coming out of Hawaii Huge swirl of sulfur coming out of Russia and China, heading into the Pacific. Missions coming out of Kamchatka. Much love, thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by natural disasters, volcanoes, air quality. That's the Bagana Volcano. Quick look here at Hawaii. As the winds could shift and bring that sulfur content right over top, looking at 336 parts per milligram in the long-range forecast here up into Thursday. Looks like the winds will be shifting everything onto the island. Also going to give you a quick look here at Null School, for the actual real-time sulfur emissions right now. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. And please share this video with your friends and family. Keeping humanity aware and prepared, Morning Dew is here for you. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Morning Dew. Bye-bye now.
Thank you.